All right, guys. So we got a quick introductory review of the Yakima hops in a can. Product review coming up next. So, we got these cans from Yakima Valley. Um, They're pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, they even have got, like hopped canned vending machines. Mm -hmm, Similar as you would get like a, a can of pop or something. Mm -hmm. So they have, what is this? A eight ounce, eight ounce can of hops here. Mm -hmm. So it's a half a pound. I think they have them in uh, another variant, maybe like two, 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 two ounce. Yeah, there's the two ounce can. Yeah, the smaller, smaller cans. Tiny cans. They have these cool lids on here. It's a one time sort of uh, opening. Yeah, and lid. it open, opens up at mm -hmm. like the whole, about the whole size mm -hmm. of the lid. The labels are actually pretty cool. Um, as Eric mentioned, uh, it actually shows where the hops came from. So, so which one do you cool. have? You have so Galaxy? I have Galaxy. It says from our friends at HPA Hops for Australia. So, uh, I've got Medusa and it's CLS Farms. We've got Citra here from Haas. And then we also have uh, Motuka? Mo yeah, I think it's like Motuka it. from New Zealand Hop. The way they package these and the, way, the reason why it's so different is because they double douse with nitrogen for the lowest oxygen environment possible. The freshest hops straight out of hop country. They also show you how to store these on here. Uh, it says keep cold. Mm -hmm. And then uh, use within three years for best results. Also after three opening. Three years? Yeah, it says three years. Wow. It says seal with food safe silicone lid and purge can with an insert gasket or use O2 absorbing packets. So um, they recommend you Oh. with uh, CO2. Yeah, that's pretty neat because they come with these lids or you mm -hmm. can buy these lids separately. Yeah. So if you have a, you, you can buy a few packs. Mm -hmm. I think they sell two for a dollar. Mm -hmm. um, and these lids, they're just like these little plastic lids that sit on the top and they allow you to continue using the can as a container but also seal it. So... And it actually has a decent seal on it. It does. It, it's almost so decent, it's kind of a pain to put on a little mm -hmm. bit. But that's um, good because you kind of want them to, right. you know... And then you just seals it all the way around. And it's a, actually a pretty good seal. We were actually talking about this earlier today. Mm -hmm. I was saying, hey, I should have a tap handle on my keyser just for CO2 so mm -hmm. I can purge things like growlers or now hop cans. Yeah, so I mean, like when you buy hops, you want them to be, you know, it's kind of an investment almost, you know? Especially when you buy them in bulk. And you buy them in bulk. Yeah. So you kind of want them to be oxygen free and like, you last know, as long last as, can, as long yeah. as they can because you want them to last, you know, you don't do multiple batches, so you want them to last a long time. Also on the on the can itself, it has the uh, basically uh, aroma profiles that- uh, Yeah, I didn't notice that. That you can also get in a kit that we just did a review on. Yeah, that um, was fun. <laughs> that we did a, uh, it's a aroma kit basically, and it kind of has the same uh, aroma profiles on it. It does, I think they were trying to link those together. Mm -hmm. We'll even link in the description to how we had fun with the uh, little hop aroma kit that they sent us mm -hmm. also. But, uh, so for example, this uh, Galaxy Hop has the aroma profile of citrus, berry currant, uh, sweet fruit, and green fruit. Mm -hmm. So. I know exactly what those smell like yep. because of that hop profile kit. Mm -hmm. um, and then this Medusa also has woody, aromatic, citrus, sweet fruit, and grassy green, green grassy. Mm -hmm. So that's really neat. There's a few options out there, but mm -hmm. Yakima Valley is, uh, has always been a very good bulk supplier of hops for us. For at least homebrew, yeah. homebrew side for us. And uh, much cheaper than if you were to go to your homebrew shop and just buy the hops that you needed for exactly. a recipe. Yeah. When you can start buying your hops in bulk, uh, measuring them out and even storing them correctly mm -hmm. and they last a few years, mm -hmm. it helps you save money, allows you to homebrew more and uh, just makes it easier overall because mm -hmm. then you can brew whatever you want, whenever, whenever you, want. you want. Yep. And that's one of the big things. We'll link another video below where we did, uh, uh, what did we do? I think we reviewed a vacuum sealer. Yes, and uh, we did the new air. It's we kind of new air, but yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we kind of compared 
buying hops by the ounce mm -hmm. from a homebrew shop versus buying them in bulk mm -hmm. and how much money you could actually save. Mm -hmm. So definitely check that out. Um, otherwise, this has just been a quick video on the Yakima Valley hops in a can. Yep, make sure to check them out. We'll leave a link in the description below. We, they are always having deals on hops, definitely flash sales on pounds of hops. Just this last weekend, they had a flash sale on, at the time of this video, was uh, Mosaic. They had a okay. pound of Mosaic. They had for, Citra a few weeks ago. And yes, they had Citra. You bought three well, pounds not, of Citra, not too, Well, that was a different time, but. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> they had a pound of Mosaic for 14 bucks, which is usually $22 for a pound, and that's the current crops in 2019. Yeah. So that, I mean, they're always having some good deals. So make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. But that's just a little short video about our hops and you know what we got from them. Um, make sure to leave a comment down below what you guys think about their new packaging, new lids. Uh, if you guys got any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that bell, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I'm I'm still I, I, I don't have a beer. I drink, no beer. I drink it all. I still drink it all. <laughs>